Have you ever had a close encounter with these common garden pests? When we talk about garden pests, it's easy to picture the usual suspects, aphids, slugs, caterpillars, beetles, and so on. But it's not just about identifying them, it's about understanding them, their habits, their diets, and the damage they can inflict on our beloved green spaces. Take aphids, for example. These tiny, soft-bodied insects are known for their destructive feeding habits. They suck the sap from plant tissues, causing leaves to curl, yellow, and eventually drop off. Aphids also excrete a sweet substance called honeydew, which can encourage the growth of sooty mold, further damaging the plant. Then, we have slugs and snails. These slow-moving mollusks are notorious for their voracious appetite for leaves, stems, and roots. They can cause significant damage, especially to young seedlings and tender plants. But it's not all doom and gloom. Did you know that these pests play crucial roles in our ecosystem? Aphids, for instance, are a primary food source for many beneficial insects and birds. They help maintain the population balance of these predators. Similarly, slugs and snails contribute to the nutrient cycling process by decomposing organic matter. So the question is not about eradicating these pests entirely, but managing them in a way that maintains the delicate balance of our ecosystem. That's right, the goal is not a pest-free garden, but a balanced garden. And achieving this balance requires a deeper understanding of the pests, their roles, and the damage they can cause. While it's true that these tiny creatures can be a nuisance, causing harm to our plants and disrupting the beauty of our gardens, they are not villains. They are simply fulfilling their roles in nature. They are part of the grand cycle of life, contributing to the diversity and function of our ecosystem. So the next time you spot a pest in your garden, take a moment to observe it. Understand its behavior, its role in the ecosystem, and then think about how you can manage it in a way that respects the balance of nature. Remember, these tiny creatures might be a nuisance, but they are also part of our ecosystem. But what if we told you that not all insects are bad for your garden? Yes, you heard that right. A thriving, healthy garden is not just about plants. It's an ecosystem teeming with life, including a host of beneficial insects and animals that act as natural predators to garden pests. These guardians of your garden are a part of what we call biological control. This is a method of managing pests using other living organisms. It's nature's own pest control service, and it's been around far longer than any chemical pesticide. Let's take ladybugs, for instance. These charming creatures are not just pretty to look at. They're voracious eaters of aphids, a common garden pest. A single ladybug can eat up to 50 aphids a day. Now imagine a small army of ladybugs in your garden, working tirelessly to keep those pests in check. Then we have birds. Often overlooked, birds are nature's pest control experts. They feast on a variety of pests, including slugs, snails, caterpillars, and beetles. By providing a bird-friendly environment in your garden, you're essentially hiring a team of pest exterminators who work for birdseed. Insects like the lacewing and the parasitic wasp are also crucial players in the biological control of pests. Lacewings, with their delicate, transparent wings, are avid consumers of aphids, whiteflies, and mites. On the other hand, parasitic wasps lay their eggs inside pests like caterpillars and aphids. When the eggs hatch, they feed on the host, naturally controlling their population. By encouraging these beneficial insects and birds into your garden, you're fostering a balanced ecosystem. It's a win-win situation. They get a safe habitat and ample food, and you get a natural, self-regulating pest control system. So next time you spot a ladybug or a bird in your garden, thank them for their pest control services. They're the unsung heroes, quietly ensuring your garden remains a flourishing, vibrant sanctuary. Would you like to know how to keep pests at bay using ingredients you probably already have at home? Well, let's dive into the world of DIY natural repellents and solutions. These methods are cost-effective, eco-friendly, and most importantly, they're safe for your garden's ecosystem. Our first recipe is a garlic spray, a potent deterrent for many types of pests. To make this, you'll need two whole bulbs of garlic, water, and a bit of liquid dish soap. Peel and crush the garlic, mix it with two cups of water, let it sit overnight, and then strain it into a jar, ensuring to squeeze out all the garlic juice. Add half a cup of water to the mix, 
along with a quarter teaspoon of dish soap. This soap isn't just a binding agent, it helps the spray stick to the plants. Voila, your garlic spray is ready. Remember, a little goes a long way, so use it sparingly. Next up is the chili pepper repellent. This spicy solution is particularly effective against mammals like rabbits and deer. Blend two tablespoons of hot pepper flakes or 10 fresh cayennes with a pint of water, then heat it up and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. This process helps extract the capsaicin, which is the stuff that gives peppers their heat. Let it cool, strain the mixture, add a couple drops of dish soap, and it's ready to use. But be careful when applying it, you don't want to get this in your eyes. Lastly, consider introducing plants that naturally deter pests. Marigolds, for instance, are great at repelling nematodes and certain beetles. Herbs like basil and mint can ward off flies and mosquitoes, and the strong scent of lavender can keep rabbits and deer at bay. These plants not only add beauty to your garden, but also serve as a natural line of defense against pests. With these natural solutions, you can keep pests under control without resorting to harmful chemicals. Remember, a balanced garden is a healthy garden. So let's continue to foster this balance by embracing safe, natural solutions. Did you know that the way you take care of your garden can make a big difference in keeping pests away? It's not just about the variety of plants you have or the natural repellents you use. Your daily gardening practices play a key role in maintaining a pest-free environment. Let's delve into some of these practices. First off, the mighty mulch. You might see it as a simple layer of organic material spread around your plants, but it's much more than that. Mulch not only conserves moisture and improves the health of your soil, but also acts as a physical barrier against pests. Certain types of mulch, like cedar bark, can even deter specific pests with their natural aroma. Next up, let's talk watering. Proper watering isn't just essential for plant growth, it can also make your garden less inviting for pests. Overwatering can lead to diseases that attract pests, while underwatering can weaken your plants, making them more susceptible to pest attacks. The golden rule of thumb? Water deeply but less frequently, allowing the soil to dry out between watering. This practice encourages stronger root growth and makes the environment less appealing to pests that thrive in wet conditions. Moving on to crop rotation. You might think it's a practice reserved for large farms, but it's equally beneficial for home gardens. By changing the location of your plants each season, you disrupt the life cycle of pests and diseases that may be waiting in the soil. Crop rotation also helps maintain soil fertility and can lead to a more diverse and vibrant garden. Finally, remember to keep your garden clean. Regularly remove fallen fruits, dead leaves and other plant debris that can harbor pests. By doing so, you eliminate potential hiding and breeding spots, making your garden less attractive to unwanted visitors. The bottom line? Good gardening practices can significantly reduce the likelihood of pest infestations. They ensure that your garden is not just beautiful, but also healthy and resilient. Remember, a healthy garden is your best defense against pests. Sometimes the best way to keep pests away is to put up a barrier. And no, we're not talking about a giant wall around your garden, though that might be fun to see. Instead, we're focusing on physical and mechanical barriers that are effective, yet subtle. Imagine lightweight nettings that are practically invisible from a distance. These can be placed over plants to deter birds, insects, and other critters from nibbling on your precious greens. They're easy to set up, and when the season's over, you can simply fold them away. Next, let's chat about copper tapes. Now you might be thinking, copper tapes? In a garden? But hear me out. Slugs and snails have a natural aversion to copper. So, by placing copper tapes around the base of your plants or pots, you can create a no-go zone for these slimy invaders. It's a simple yet ingenious method of pest control. And then we have DIY traps. Now, these aren't the cruel, harmful kind. Think more along the lines of beer traps for slugs or yellow sticky traps for flying insects. They're straightforward to make, cost-effective, and they add an element of pest-catching fun to your gardening routine. With these barriers, you can protect your plants and still keep your garden looking beautiful. You've learned how to turn a pest nightmare into a gardening dream. Now it's time to put these tips into action. Start today and let nature help you create a vibrant, pest-free garden. Don't forget to share your experiences 
and your own natural solutions. We're all in this together, nurturing our gardens and the earth. Tune in for more eco-friendly gardening tips and continue your journey towards sustainable gardening. Join us next time for more ways to make your garden thrive, naturally and sustainably.